This is a Sweet Speaks. Today I'm here with Mark from the Midwest. So I'm very happy to have you here. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, well, your Independence Day, the 4th of July, is coming up. So I would like to ask you a few questions on that topic. Okay, great. Yeah, so the first thing I'd like to know is uh, why do you celebrate the 4th of July? Yeah, I think, I think we celebrate uh, to, uh, in, in recognition of our independence from, uh, uh, at the time, what was a very author authoritarian uh, uh, government, taxation without representation, and it's uh, just a recognition that, uh, that uh, we wanted to be an independent and free, free nation. Uh, do you think it's important to celebrate the 4th of July in our time too? Yeah, yeah, I do. I think it's a, it's a good uh, reminder of um, the uh, uh, the sacrifices that were made so that we could have freedom and that we don't live under a, a totalitarian government. Um, but I I, uh, I think uh, there are challenges that uh, maybe recognition and remembrance of the Fourth of July would help us maybe think through that a little bit and also that. Uh, to help us as, uh, as a nation realize that we are one nation um, and as our forefathers said under God um, but uh, rather than the many voices that we hear and kind of the what I call tribalism that we're right. kind of degenerating into. So melting pot rather than the salad kind of thing. Exactly, yeah. That's a good point. Uh, what do you think about the development in the United States going on now? Uh, good things, bad things? Yeah, I think uh, uh, from uh, the, the, the good, I think um, we're definitely seeing a lot of economically good things happen um, in terms of business development, technology, you know, the U.S. I think uh, probably tends to lead in a lot of those things. Um, I do think that we have some very significant challenges around our, uh, um, our uh, character, around our, our morality and the impact that that's having on the way we think about uh, what government should be doing for us. I'm, I'm reminded of a, of a quote from uh, Thomas Jefferson that I, I think really uh, captures a little bit of um, some of the challenges that our thinking is presenting because we're starting, I think, to look more to government to provide right. for our needs than, than, uh, than, than God. He said uh, 200 years ago, I predict future happiness for Americans if they can prevent the government from wasting the labors of the people under the pretense of taking care of them. Right, that's a good one. Uh, is there anything other countries could learn from the uh, United States or from your, the celebration of your Independence Day? Um, yeah, I, I, I think uh, certainly the, uh, uh, the focus on, on freedom from tyranny. Uh, you know, I think of so many countries around the world that, uh, that still live under tyranny. And uh, from a you know a more of an autocratic uh, form of, uh, of government, uh, dictatorships and so forth. And and uh, but I but I think our constitution is John Adams. I'm going to quote John Adams. He said uh, that our constitution is meant only for a moral and religious people, and is wholly inadequate. Is a wholly inadequate form of government for any other. So I I really do think that to have true freedom, so that. Uh, that uh, we aren't ruled by the constable, as, as uh, Chuck Colson said. He, right. uh, Chuck said, if, if people will not be governed by their conscience, they will be governed by the constable. And uh, so I think that's really the, the challenge. I think the U.S. has got that, and I think other countries as well, as we, uh, uh, as we progress into a more, uh, what we call a, a modern world. Right. Maybe not all, all of that is, is equally good. So thank you very much for coming. You're welcome. And God bless you. Thank you. So that was a few words uh, from Mark from the Midwest about the American Independence Day, the 4th of July. I hope that everyone will have a good Independence Day. I also would like to thank everyone who supports my work. This is my day job and if you like what I do, if you think what I do is important and that I should continue, please consider sending me a dollar or two or ten or a hundred. That's always greatly appreciated. So, until next time, have a nice day, happy 4th of July, and God bless.